So apparently John has this really cool magic trick he's going to show us. This is going to disappear and then you find it when you eat the banana. Right. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> I get it. Most folks, if you tell them you're going camping and you're going to sleep outside in this kind of weather, they look at you like you're crazy. So when you have other crazy friends that text and say, hey, do you want to go sleep outside on top of a cliff? You jump at the chance. I'm loaded down with tents and cook stove and supplies. Uh, I got camping gear, camera gear, and climbing gear for tomorrow in case the weather holds off and we actually get to do some rock climbing. But I'm super excited about this weekend. I needed the mental break that being outdoors away from technology gives me. If you think I'm boring, uh, don't worry. I'm about to pick John up so things are gonna get entertaining. Let's see if he's ready. So I just walked up this driveway because I saw John's White Ranger. I uh, threw my trash away and his garbage can and walked around the house looking for a place to find him. And then I turn around and I see another white Ford Ranger and John at John's house uh, across the street. Oops. <laughs> I'm so excited. He was left in a cab. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what? It was the, it was the very first thing I ever learned out. about John. <laughs> that my boyfriend says to me, was that no climb COVID? <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was. So yes, he's heard about you. Oh he knows God. you. Uh We made it. Cherokee rock business. <laughs> <laughs> Jess is down there somewhere. <laughs> the lake down the mountain behind us. The sun's going down. The temperature is also going yes, down. It is. <laughs> John didn't <Murray. laughs> <laughs> So it's time to go set up camp and build yeah. a campfire. John is leading us to certain climbing doom in the dark. I think this is it. Basically, we gotta get up there. I see it right there, John. Is that where my light is? Yep. Yep. All right, so that's our anchor. This is climbable, but it is terrible. It's super sketchy because I'll slow you. I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> I wanna sleep up there. Can you imagine the headlines? Three Alabama climbers <laughs> freeze to death. <laughs> Stuck on top. On top. <laughs> How long's your rope? 70 meters. Good. Oh. We're, go we're gonna need it, I can tell. Oh my. I'm videoing so we can go back and count the throws. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, oh my you word. have to be kidding me. <laughs> no way. <laughs> if I didn't have that on tape, I wouldn't believe it, even though I saw it. This seems incredibly sketchy. All right. this, this so what we're gonna do? Sketchy. What are we doing? You, the fact that John is leading some kind of nighttime expedition, <laughs> expedition terrifies me. All right, I know. So. It's a little scary. We're not really technically rock climbing till tomorrow, and uh, I've managed to fall twice. <laughs> Luckily, we're. I mean, we're. But it's so worth it. It's amazing. Yeah. Did we go this way or down here? Down here. Why are you asking us? Is it down that way? You literally brought us up here and then you're asking yes, us. It's down this way, buddy. It is down this way. <laughs> you see a bottom? I, yeah, I don't remember climbing this way. Why did we 
go to war. Oh my gosh. It's okay. You keep saying that, and then you turn around and ask if we're going the right way. Well, well, I don't start leading me that way. Uh, no, you aren't leading the way. Yeah. Uh, so that's not terrible. That's. That right there? That's close. It's terrible, but it's not terrible. Yeah, a little bit. Can you yeah. see on this side? Yeah. See that? Yeah, no, I saw it earlier. Um, how, how far how far off the ground are we still? Uh, we are I close. Can get, we can get you down. Okay. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Carry this, man. Yeah. Parker, just do what I tell you. Parker, Parker has arrived. Parker is here. It's now completely dark. We just come off the top of uh, the the rocks up there overlooking Lake Weiss. Um, one of us managed to fall for the third time in less than uh, two hours on the way down. So, Randy, does it hurt when I do this? Uh, my uh, initial assessment is going to be an osteochondral lesion on the patient's right ankle. As you can uh, tell, John is fully trained in paramedics. I mean, three after, weeks after in. Three, three weeks in paramedics. Weeks he knows the no, we're not taking Randy home. We're not jeopardizing the trip at his safe. <laughs> oh, that did hurt. <laughs> like a goose egg. That's a weird place. You are pouring ice in your shoe. That's a good strategy. <laughs> now you don't have to ice. Just put your shoe back on. <laughs> Who doesn't want to ice your shoes in 20 degree weather? Uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade you to a level 4 trauma. You're probably... The highest level of trauma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So am I going to get to keep my foot? No. Uh, if not, then I will. <laughs> Welcome to adaptive climbing. <laughs> Jess, I hate to say this, but he's not going to make it to the moon. <laughs> he's climbing without a rope. Say Alex Handhold. Whoa. Isn't that dangerous? Don't worry if you die, I've got it on tape. That's really all I want, to be honest. You need me to die? <laughs> Parker. <laughs> yes. No, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> Randy. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> This How hurts do you, uh, so think bad. This affect your quality of living. <laughs> Hope, hopefully, hopefully this isn't a long-term injury. Hopefully, I can walk tomorrow. Right. You right. may have to drive home. Okay. John's coming over to check on me. Hey there. You know what? I wish nothing but hugs for you, John. Can I put my hand on your bare skin? No. Not sure if they're climbing today or not. If they do climb, I don't think it'll be an all day deal, which is good for me because I need to get either home and get my foot propped up or need to get to the hospital. This ankle is in bad shape. All things considered, it could have been much worse. Uh, John caught me before I went off the cliff. I'm pretty sure this is the elderberry bush. Aren't elderberries poisonous? No, the thing is, there's a people don't realize that most berries aren't poisonous. The first people to try them were actually allergic to them. Uh, that makes so we're we've been messing out on a really good berry all this time. Those this are those dry? A little, but you don't want them too juicy because then they just get messy. <laughs> <laughs> we can both we can get matching broken ankles. Soon. At least one of us needs to be able to drive. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get matching broken ankles. That's so cute. Just remember you're the only actual medical professional here. <laughs> Y'all think it looks so easy. I mean, we're really good at it. I did climb in Yosemite. They teach it out there. It's part of the course. I love how John has all his gear on, even to slackline. Even to slackline. It's for safety, right? So but they are slackline course. Ow. Well, there goes hers. Oh my God. Coach, what are we doing in this situation? We're in a war zone, I guess. I know, it's like, that was like a flat out cannon or something. <laughs> so John's gonna return fire. <laughs> Dude, I think you made it. It's, it's still on Oh, I on think you play. hit it about maybe like four or five out there. It's still on play, look out. Oh, they fired <laughs> they, they returned fire again. <laughs> So when you decided to quit racing for a living and start climbing for a living, how, how did that go, Jeff? I will say that it greatly affected my pay grade. 
how I lived my life previously, they called a sport. Everybody drives every day. It's not that hard. Fat people, skinny people, diabetics. That means the rain has started to fall. Rain is one thing. Wet rock is bad enough, but when it's this cold, uh, I almost feel sorry for the gang, and I suspect I will see them very soon, uh, shivering and wet and cold. Hello? Hey. Hey. Me, me and John are down by the store. We thought you would be parked down here, but you weren't. Uh, where are you? I was back parked at the original base camp. Parker found me, and I'm on my way to the store. We'll be there in a second. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks. Hey, excuse me, I was hoping to pick up some hitchhikers. Do you know where I can find some? He hurt his shoulder. I have uh, a possible spider bite and I'm not. It's like gone up in the neck, so that's what you love to hear. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely. So basically, basically, Parker is the only one who's escaped without injury. It's because I've been to Yosemite. <laughs> Yeah, I put it in. So that brings an end to. Uh, oh, uh, did you grab your? <laughs> the most painful climbing trip in a long time. Oh. John, John likes to randomly strip in public parking lots, <laughs> so him and Parker can play who hits softer. <laughs> 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 <laughs>